Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, today I am sharing a very uh, an, uh, good uh, uh, sutta, a very interesting sutta on uh, how to get free from past karma. Right? For, ex for example, if we have done deeds in the past uh, like killing or stealing or sexual misconduct, right? things which are wrong things we have done and now we have come on the Buddha's path and we, we think that you know how we can get over those things. So, uh, in this discourse, uh, Buddha is actually talking about various approaches towards dealing with this and uh, what is the right approach, right? So this is Link Discourses 42.8, Sankha Dhamma Sutta and uh, uh, this is the, the, the reference to the actual, the link to the discourse I have given in the description, you can check that. So, here basically, uh, there was Asi Bandhaka who went up to the Buddha and uh, Buddha said to him, Buddha asked him, Chief, how does the Jain ascetic of the Natika clan teach his disciples? So Buddha wanted to know how does the Jain, dis because at that time what happened was, now when Buddha's, at Buddha's time, it was also the time where uh, Mahavir, uh, the, 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 the Jain saint, he was also teaching. And Buddha asked him, how does the Jain ascetic of the Natika clan teach his disciples? So, so uh, the Asibandhika said that the Jain, uh, the Jain Natika teaches the disciples that everyone who kills a living creature, steals, commits sexual misconduct or lies, goes to a place of loss or a hell, you are led on by what you usually live by. That's how the Jain Natika teaches his disciples. So there Buddha, Buddha had, his, had a particular view. He said that if you say that you are led by what you usually live by, then no one will go to a place of loss or a place of hell. Why? Because uh, Buddha asked him that, uh, so the chief asked, why Buddha, why are you saying that? So Buddha says that, what do you think chief, a person who kills living creatures, if we compare the periods of time during the day and night where he is killing, the, doing the act of killing and the period of time where there, he is not doing the killing, what period of time is more? So definitely he said the period of time where he is not killing is more. So then the Buddha said that if we go by that teaching, that you are led on by what you usually live by, according to that teaching, then nobody would go to hell, right? So, so that is the like the the, the first approach of the, so Buddha refuted the the Jain ascetics approach uh, where he was saying that whatever you usually uh, do accordingly, you go to a realm after your death, right? So Buddha refuted that. So that is the first. Then Buddha said about the second approach. So Buddha says that. Uh, uh, take a teacher who has this doctrine everyone who kills living creatures steals commits sexual misconduct goes to a place of hell so the second approach is that everyone who commits any such act of killing stealing lying sexual misconduct all these things he will go to a hell so buddha approach said that this second approach is also wrong that now if that approach that view is taken then what will happen is that if anyone would have done such such a kind of a act right and there is a very high likelihood that, that many of us would have done these things, right? At some point in our life, when we were not aware, not conscious, we were not, you know, our consciousness was not there. So, if we go by that teaching that if you commit anything, then you will go into a hell, that is also a wrong approach. Because then the person, what he will think is that, oh, I have no hope left because I will be going into hell, right? Now, the Buddha comes to the third approach, which is Buddha's approach. So, Buddha says... Buddha says that Buddha criticizes and denounces stealing, sexual misconduct, uh, lying, right? And a disciple who is devoted to the teacher, he reflects that Buddha told that you should not kill, you should not do. Now, whatever I have done, I feel remorseful because of it, but I can't undo what I have done. Reflecting on this, they give up killing living creatures and the future, they don't kill living creatures. That's how to give up this bad deed and get past it. So, Buddha is saying, Third approach, which is Buddha said is the right approach towards getting past your negative karma is that feel remorseful of whatever has happened. Just feel the remorse and give it up. Giving it up is very, very important. Give up. Do not kill any living creatures in the future. Right? Whatever has happened in the past, if you have been killing pe people or killing animals, stop that. Do not, you know, in your future life, you should never do that. So that is one thing. So, they give up lying and they refrain from lying, they give up stealing, they give up sexual misconduct, they give up divisive speech, harsh speech, everything. 
right then buddha says then then that noble disciple is rid of desire rid of ill will unconfused aware and mindful so these five qualities he cultivates right through their practice they meditate spreading a heart full of love to one direction second direction third that means he meditates and spreads the heart of love arises love within our himself and spreads it all directions this is basically the practice of metta the loving kindness right so so now buddha is giving the analogy of a powerful horn blower right a person who blows a horn so what happens is a horn blower when he blows the horn that the voice the sound of the horn goes in all four directions so similar way buddha is saying that such person in the same way when the heart's release by love has been developed and cultivated like this any limited deeds they've done don't remain or persist there right so buddha is saying that basically two things one is feeling the remorse giving up the particular misdeed realizing that i have done wrong feeling feeling remorseful and giving it up and second thing is cultivating love from inside and like a horn blower sending that love in all directions so uh, basically cultivating loving kindness right so another analogy where i can you know as an analogy in the current times i can give is be like a uh, be like a mobile tower what a mobile tower is it it sends signals right so we can be also like a tower of love right at any time rise the love from you and spread that love everywhere right be like that tower of love right as our consciousness expands the more powerful our signals of love will be right with 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 this he said uh, the asibandha said excellent sir excellent from this day forth may the buddha remember me as a low, lay follower who has gone gone for refuge for life right so again recapping the whole the sutra it's a brilliant sutra the first approach where the 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 jain ascetics teaching where he was saying that we go as per what we usually live by we choose a realm where we so that is buddha said is not correct right because if if you talk about the usual thing then usually the period of time wise if you calculate then nobody would go to it so that approach is wrong second second approach that any single act you commit you know uh, which is wrong act it will take you to hell that approach is also wrong because then that is like it generates fatalism that now nothing can be done i will be going so then the person will not even come on the right path he will not even practice if he has been killing or committing misdeeds he will continue doing misdeeds because he will think that there is no hope for me the third path what buddha says for clearing for getting over the negative karma negative deeds is realize that you have made a mistake be remorseful stop doing so basically the five precepts right so on the buddhist path what basically we have to do all of us right all students are, we are all students on the buddhist path our first thing what you do as a householder for monks and all there are you know higher uh, uh, precepts and all but for us as a minimum five precepts no killing no stealing no lying no sexual misconduct and no drinking five things we have to ensure in our life so we going forward in our life we will not even if it comes that there is a risk to our life we will not do that we will not do that so that should be our determination right uh, and then restrain our body mind restrain our body mind speech from doing all the wrong things right and practice more and more loving kindness so this reminds me and uh, that you know it's a open checklist item on my end to make a loving kindness meditation or maybe i have made a loving kindness meditation you can search for it yes i think i have made the loving kindness meditation do practice loving kindness meditation one or two times you can do with the help of the guided meditation that i have posted but after that you can do it on your own just sit generate the love there is a certain process to it and you can generate and send the love so maybe in the morning you can do vipassana meditation and in the evening you can do loving kindness meditation so some day you are feeling very good very happy right you can just do the uh, loving kindness spread the loving kindness to uh, as many people as possible right so this is the sutra i hope they, they it added uh, kind of some provided you some helpful perspective on this uh, on this uh, aspect um, thank you so much for watching this video and um, do share your thoughts uh, reflection on this sutra and uh, do read the sutra the link is there in the description thank you so much namo buddhaya namo buddhaya